Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Okay, so Donald Trump and the E. Jean Carroll case. Um, Trump is asking, and his lawyers are asking, a federal appeals court to delay his defamation trial in January um, because he wants to use, because of presidential immunity. Now, before he had filed um, uh, a case with the appeals court saying he wanted to use presidential immunity as a defense. And the appeals court said no, because it took you too long to actually use that as a defense. This time, Trump's attorneys are asking the appeals court to stay the trial to allow the appeals court time to consider their options, including asking for a full panel of the appeals court justices to hear Trump's arguments or by taking uh, this case to the Supreme Court. All right. And again, with Trump, everything is delay, delay, delay. This is just another delay tactic because there's no way he's winning the presidential immunity case against in the Supreme Court. This is the same one that Jack Smith is trying to fast track that Donald Trump doesn't want fast tracked. Haste makes waste is pretty much what they were saying about that. For those who watch the Midas Touch, you know what I'm talking about. So on the one hand, he's trying to say, well, I got presidential immunity and the court, that court case is going to the Supreme Court. And on the other hand, he doesn't want the Supreme Court to, to review it anytime soon because he wants the delays. He doesn't want the actual answer. And again, if the Supreme Court ruled in Donald's favor, it means that Joe Biden doesn't have to leave the White House ever because he can just go ahead and crime all day long. And the Supreme Court would have said, that's okay. Presidents can do crimes all they want when they're the president. And somehow I just don't think that that's what the, uh, the framers of the Constitution intended. So Trump's appeal to the appellate court, sounds redundant, uh, what's the energy around that? Is this going to be successful? <clears throat> Six of Cups. It's kind of a Hail Mary type thing. You know, he, this is like, he wants, he wants this outcome. He wants this delay. He's still thinking that somehow he can manifest this delay to um, prevent him from having to <laughs> pay further and pay further money to E.J. and Carroll for defamation, but he's just he's he's being naive. It's it's not going to work, but he doesn't really expect to win it. He just wants to delay it, and he will use any weird tactic. He can notice all these cups here. Any weird tactic that he can use that could potentially get a delay. <coughs> he's going to make the argument with. Um, but his, he and his lawyers are not sincere. They go forward with these arguments that they know they have no chance of winning in the other courts. But again, this isn't about winning. This is about delaying, delaying the inevitable, delaying having to pay the defamation case, delaying um, anything to do with, uh, with MAGA and the January 6th insurrection. Delay, delay, delay. They're not sincere people. In the past, we've got the Three of Wands. Um, you've got all these court cases coming Trump's way. And both civil and criminal. And um, he had defamed uh, Ms. Carroll in the past. Actually, he he basically raped Ms. Carroll in the past. That wasn't the, the charge they eventually convicted him on, but I believe it was like, sexually assaulted or something like that but because he lost that case in the past that meant that this defamation case that came forward um automatically won because the court had determined that he had in fact sexually assaulted her when he publicly said he never did that and she was crazy so that would be defamation so he automatically lost that case this one that's coming up here and he, this case in january is just about damages it's not about guilt or innocence is about damages. He tried to use his presidential immunity ploy, but that obviously isn't going to work because the appellate court already ruled against him. Current situation is the King of Wands. <clears throat> Again, he's trying to use the court system to his advantage to slow things down because courts don't move quickly. So he's trying to force this to the appellate court. <coughs> 
And when it goes to the full appellate court and they rule against it, he's then going to want to take it to the Supreme Court and just slow things down, slow things down, slow things down. Now we go from cups to wands. So we go from emotions to action. Um, I think he feels like he's got a pretty good chance at forcing this, delaying things and forcing this through to at least to the full appellate court for their opinion on it. Let's see if how this thing's going to work out. The lesson to be learned is the evaluation. Um, he could very well succeed in getting <clears throat> getting this case delayed a little bit while the full appellate court considers the val the merits of his case. I think I think the full the this um, sending it back to the appellate court. I think they will consider the merits now, whether or not they take it to the full court. We'll see what happens, but they will they will read what he's asking and they will do a consideration on it. <clears throat> the outcome is the high priestess. Sorry for all the coughing. It's just a little bit of congestion in my throat here. The outcome is the high priestess. Um, I think the court... Um, whatever choice they make is going to be a wiser course of action. Um, there's only the one person here. I'm not convinced that they're going to have the full court take this up. It's funny because you've got like the full court and the one here. This would be like the the initial decision to bring the full court. And then when you come out, you've got the one and the one. So I think it's, I don't think this is going to be, um, I don't think this is going to make it to the full appellate court for a review. I think this is a, a fool's errand on his part, but he's not doing it to win it. He's doing it to delay. <clears throat> okay, so let's ask straight up. Will, um, will Trump be successful in delaying his uh, defamation, his second defamation trial, which is just determining damages? Will he be successful in having the full appellate court review and rule on his claims of presidential immunity. Try not to always say, oh yeah, Trump loses. Yeah, Trump loses. Sometimes it's kind of easier to predict than others. I'm just trying, <laughs> you know, trying to read the cards and be neutral on it. Um, now, certainly, my, my audience would be more than willing to hear Trump losing this, right? So, trying to be real and not biased with it. Okay. Will Trump, his appeal, go to the full appellate court? Will the full appellate court review, thus delaying his E. Jean Carroll second defamation case? The Emperor. Will he get what he wants? The Emperor. Be the courts. Looking at the King of Wands, that was before appealing it to the courts. Being left out in the cold. Ace of Cups. <clears throat> Seven of Wands. Victory. When I saw this card came up, come up, I was thinking they were gonna toss it out. That this, this appeal was not going to go within the court system. Um, does this mean that it delays the E. Jean Carroll case so that she doesn't get paid? I got the Seven of Wands battling. Um... Somebody's going to make a decision here. Okay, so let me look at this. Okay, so if the court, if they, it doesn't mean it's going to go in. If it means go, here's the, the full court deciding. Um, it would delay the case, but, you know, it brought through their motions, fighting from a position of uh, strength, fighting for advantage. If they say no, <clears throat> are they kicking this out? He's already made his decision. Yeah, I think they're going to say no. It could go, it, really, this could go either way, but I think 
the appellate court's going to say no. The judge has already made his decision. Um, you can't basically. You've already used this this defense, and it doesn't change anything. This this has already been ruled on. We already ruled that you can't use presidential immunity as a defense, and so they're going to kick this appeal to the full court out. Say nope, sorry, you had your chance. You didn't use it. Too bad. Uh, <laughs> So sad. You don't get to do this. We can defend this. We've we've the decision's already been made. Um, I mean, this could be that they bring it for the full court for debate, but I think he's going to kick it back. Um, <clears throat> the the debating it isn't going to change. The, it pretty much is like if they consider it, it's not going to change anything. Um, it might be that they you know they pretty much already know the answer. And don't need to bring it in. Now, to kind of be wrong, I could be wrong. They, this could be, be the undertone of we should consider if we're going to debate this or not. But I think they consider it and say no. Uh, I think they're allowed to do that. I just, I, I don't, I'm not 100% convinced on this one. This is one of those ones that, yeah, it could go either way. I think they're going to say no to it because I just think they've already decided uh the answer and they kind of know that it's just a way for Trump to delay um, uh, the results of of that the other thing that the other reason why they may not want to delay is because they know he has a whole slew of court cases coming up and <clears throat> if you delay this case you know they, they may not be able to get on the docket for a while because You've got the January 6th case, you got the Mar-a-Lago documents case, you got the Georgia Rico case. And in order to maintain the timelines, uh, they may not hear it because they might argue, we've already ruled on it. If we delay this, you know, justice delay is is justice uh, 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 not given, but justice uh, not served. <laughs> Sorry for getting the quote. All right, let, let's take a look. Um, how do E. Jean Carroll and her lawyers, uh, react? Oh, well, will they react? Uh, will this co will this case begin in mid January like it's supposed to? Just a simple little four carter. And let me do some over more overhand shuffles. I feel like I need a little. Eh, that should be good enough. Nostalgic. Yeah, I think she's gonna get paid. He wants that. To, I don't think he's gonna get it. I think this is him having to pay. The agreements. Too bad. So sad. Disappointment. Victory. Um, <clears throat> will this court case be delayed? Um, I, you know, it doesn't matter if it gets delayed or not. You know what I mean? She's still going to win. She's already won. <clears throat> the decision's already been made. The agreement's already there. There's some disappointment. I and mean, if it gets delayed, it gets delayed. She's still going to be victorious on this one. It may not be decided yet. I hate it when I don't have an answer. I want to have an answer. Um, no, it's... I, I Again, I think right now it's leaning towards... Uh, it's leaning towards her uh, having a victory. Uh, especially with that uh, Six of Wands underneath. I think uh, I think there it's more likely than not that it will happen on in mid-January like it's supposed to. But regardless if it's delayed or not, she's still already won it. She's still going to get another judgment against him and she'll still get paid for that judgment. So try not to, if it gets delayed, try not to let it stress you out much at all. It's a temporary delay. And if anything, the Supreme Court's going to be ruling pretty quickly on this presidential immunity stuff because it impacts the Jack Smith case as well as... Um, uh, the Georgia Rico case, so they kind of have to get on the on the schneid on this one, and uh, um, I think uh, maybe by the time they've already made their decision, it, it doesn't matter if the appellate court takes it up or not, because the decision is going to be made by the Supreme Court. If it delays it, it's not going to delay it very much. And maybe Trump's hoping that if he could delay it by a couple weeks, then they can't get it on the docket and it gets kicked down the road some more. So if it gets delayed, I think it it would only be a short delay, and it may not be um, it may not get delayed at all. All right, 
Can I waffle anymore on this one? David's house, David's waffle house of tarot reading. Anyways, thank you for uh, watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for all your kind words and everything you do to feed the YouTube algorithm so that my videos make it up to a wider audience. To the new viewers and new subscribers to the channel, welcome. Glad you found us. Hope you found this reading insightful, even though I... <laughs> I don't think I even made a prediction in here. It's kind of like a 60-40-70-30. I think it's like 60 to 70% likely to happen on time. But there's a, a reasonable chance it'll get delayed. That's my official my official waffle. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. And I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.